What's going on everybody? It's your boy Nate Matthews back again with another holiday spirit field video. So if you guys are in a good mood, go ahead and start off by just hitting the thumbs up button for your boy. You feel me? This is a stocking that I made in a previous video. If you guys want to see it, go ahead and click the card that pops up. If you also want to buy the file to actually stitch this in your own machine, um, you know, you can buy that on everdenyme.com. Today, I'm going to be using the Brother SE625. Of course, since I got fabrics and things like that, this is going to be an applique design. And what we're getting ready to do today is make a stocking. And guess what? They're actually useful. You can put stuff in them. Stay tuned. So this is what we're getting ready to stitch out today. As you guys can see, it looks very plain, but that's because most of this design is applique. So you're gonna be using your scrap fabrics, whatever you guys may have, whatever you wanna use, toss it into the machine. It's gonna come out really, really, really cool. And hopefully you guys can follow along, find it nice and easy and really a cool video. So if you guys are unaware, the Brother SE625 can only stitch a maximum area of four by four. So no matter if you get like a larger hoop or anything, it only can do four by four at one time. So no need to actually adjust this size right here or move it around or anything because I filled it up to fill up the entire space already. Everything is set right here, right? First thing we need to do is just, just doing the placement stitch right here, letting me know exactly where I'm going to be placing my fabric. And now that you have your placement stitch, what you're going to go ahead and do is get your fabric of choice. Actually, this is going to be the inside, the cushion part. So as you guys can see, I did it a little while ago. So I'm going to go ahead and use my scissors cut some of this out and we're going to use the rest of this fabric to go ahead and tack it down we place this over the entire design and now we're just tacking down our nice felt or whatever cushion that you would like to add onto the inside of your stocking so now that we got this first part going I'm gonna go ahead and use my good old applique scissors. Cut this out, let's throw that to the side real quick. We'll cut this out, get as close as you can to the lines. It's gonna make your design look so much nicer in the end, trust me. So we got it all cut out, as you guys can see right there. Now we'll go ahead and pop it back into the machine. And since we're gonna be doing our next little stitch right here, we need to lay our fabric over the design. Now, the next step right here, the way I set this file up is going to stitch at the bottom right here, right? So it's pretty much just going to be this bottom, all the part that's in red. That's what it's getting ready to stitch out next, just an outline of it, which means I don't need to place the fabric on top of this entire thing, but I do need to place it right here and below because that's what this patch right here is for so this is some uh fabric that i used from when i made some customized uh, roller skates just a little scrap fabric what i have done was place my piece of fabric over the design right there and i was kind of using my fingers to feel like the shape of the design underneath so i can see which part of the design is going to be in there so it looks like there's going to be that blue rose at the bottom is going to make it all this this is the shape of it i can feel it so just make sure your pattern placement is really good and whatever you put on there, that's what your design is going to end up looking like. So I'll go ahead and tack this down now. We're just getting as close as we can to this line. Cutting it out. All right, so this is what we got so far. Looks cool already, but we still ain't done. Now the next thing we're going to do with this design is place a stipple stitch. Now if you look at the pattern on the inside of that stocking right there, that right there is a stipple stitch. Now that's not only just for the looks, like just to have a nice pattern, but if you can tell right here it looks like my fabric is kind of i wouldn't say puckering but it's kind of loose you know it's only stitched out and tacked together from the outside now if you want it to stick together on the inside you have to do a stipple stitch and that pretty much adheres this design right here to the background fabric so that's what we're getting ready to do next all right now for this i want to give it a little bit of pop so my background is black i've been doing the black thread and things like that so i'm gonna go ahead and pop this out and I think I want to add some nice, shiny white to the design. It's going to look pretty cool, I think. Matter of fact, I know it's going to look cool. Add just a little bit of flavor to the design, you see it? Especially with it being an embroidery thread, it's going to be shiny and stuff like that. It doesn't even need to cover up a whole lot of space. You can see the design right through it. Very cool. Stipple stitch, 
complete. We're going to be placing our top piece of fabric along the top of the stocking. So before we do the next part, let's go ahead and pop it out of the machine. Again, cut this extra fabric from around the border. So this is what it looks like so far. Now, if you guys think this is cool, if you guys want to be done, you could be done depending on how you do it for you. But for me, I'm gonna keep going, baby. I'm gonna put that stipple stitch in there now. It's just gonna be very subtle. You won't really be able to see the red at all from a distance, but you don't really need to, because I want the pattern that's already in the background to be the pattern. Went over to the workstation, had to grab the green embroidery thread because the uh, little pull tab or whatever you want to call it, the part that you hang on the wall or the tree or whatever, I'm going to be doing a fill with uh, green embroidery thread right here. Just add a little bit more green to the design because right now it's pretty much the only the leaves that are showing in green. All right, so the next part of this design is just going to be a straight line, as you can see right there. And that line is going to be placed right in the center of here to kind of blend the top pattern and the bottom pattern together. It kind of shows, you know, which one is on top. So I'm going to cover that seam right there. All right, now here's the tricky part. It's not too tricky because I'm going to tell you guys how to do it, but. So I made a little teeny weeny itsy bitsy little mistake, man. The, the spidey senses didn't tingle the right way, right? So what we're going to do is actually jump to another clip and continue this design on like the exact same step but with just a different backing and background stuff like that so check it out you guys can actually see this one too it's cool to see multiple things in the video we all make mistakes all right so we got the initials all stitched out into the design we're gonna go ahead and pop this off and we're gonna do something a little bit different this time than what you normally would see me do um, I'm actually going to be sticking something on the back to kind of cover all this up. It's going to be a useful stocking. We're actually going to be able to use it. So we need a left side and a right side. So we're going to go ahead and cut these strings here. So now that I got the strings all cut, we're going to flip this on over to the back side. I'm just going to simply place this right on top and I'm going to tape it down. Let's tape it to the side of the hoop. Only a little bit needs to be on the fabric itself. So there it is. Got one tape, two tape, three tape, four pieces of tape right here. And that is what I'm going to use to tack it down. Now, sometimes you can use the adhesive spray if you want it to stick throughout the entire design. Or you could do another like stipple stitch or wait and do that like after the fact. But for me, I like the, the tape method is very simple. It's not too hard. So let's go ahead and uh, tack this down. Now, after we're done with that, we can go ahead and pop this bad boy out and do some applique work on the other side right here. You can go ahead and remove the tape now. Almost done with the design. So this is how the front is looking. This is how the back is looking. Let me zoom in real quick, show you guys how it looks right now. Is this 100% flush design? It's kind of, you know, tacked down now. Same thing, front and back. And now we're gonna go ahead and lay down another piece here. And we're going to tie this thing closed. So it's going to be red on the front and the back. Tape it down. Really trying to avoid stitching through the tape. You don't want to gunk up your needle or anything. It's also why I use the tape instead of the spray. Which on previous ones I actually did use spray. It does come out really nice, but I don't want it to have any effects on my machine in the long run. And we're going to do a nice outline to get these all stuck together in one. I do have quite a bit of overhang with the uh, below fabric, so as soon as this is done, you know, I'm just going to get the scissors and I'm going to cut off the uh, excess that's poking out the sides. Alright guys, so we just finished the last step of this design. It's done stitching, but we got to clip some of these threads and also cut this off the back. If you guys notice on the back, it only stitches along the, uh, the bottom and the sides because this is going to be open right here and we can actually put stuff inside of it. So it's red on the back with no design, red on the front. And if I wanted to, I could make two separate files, a left and a right side. But who needs two sides when we can get it done quicker with just one? Cut this out. So I think this thing came out great. Uh, not only does it have these small designs and stuff like that on the front of the design, the uh, stipples, it also has it along the top. It's initialed, neverdenyme.com, as well as we have it on the back. Since we do have a backing now, it's actually useful. 
It's actually a useful stocking. Check that out. We can put anything in here. We have this one right here. It's also made out of applique. I just laid some uh, cool fabric down. It's got a nice little pattern there, as you guys can see, as well as some flowers and roses up at the top. Let's let y'all see that a little bit more. Check that out, guys. Looking very cool, very cool. Also even has the hang tab, so you can, you know, pin it to the wall or whatever. This one, though, is more like a patch. So we got this one that's more like a patch. It's just flat, Velcro patch. Put it on whatever you want. Use it for decoration, whatever it may be. And then the last one that we have right here, this one is my favorite one of them all. So check that out. This one also has the uh, nice stipple stitch all throughout the rose design. Nice design up here. I went ahead and used a stitch into the uh, pull tab, what you call it. And on the back, now I kind of messed up on this one, but it still looks really good. So on the back, it's just all white felt. And it is, you know, two-sided. So some uses for these. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you hit the thumbs up button on this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.